Hello everyone and a very good afternoon to you. Welcome to virtual church. I do hope that you are all well. And then once again, we're just a little bit short staff today. So we've got a list of hymns, which unbelievably I've already lost. So I'm going to have to find that somewhere, aren't I? Um, I've got hymn books coming out of my ears. I've got one, two, three, four, I think five hymn books here and an iPad because someone's requested something which is only available on the iPad. The hymn books are currently getting stuck together. Here we go, here's a list. Well, so what did we start with there? We started with the, obviously, the, the prelude to the Te Deum by uh, Charpentier, the most famous movement of the entire piece. Um, actually, the whole piece is worth checking out if you haven't already. It's all rather good. It's just a shame that the, the prelude um, almost overshadows the rest of the piece, but it is so wonderful it was requested and um, I was very happy to play it. It was requested by Nick, actually. So there we go, Nick. So got your request in straight away. Um, the second thing that I played was uh, actually glorious things of the are spoken to the tune Austria. We had um, the tune Austria requested last week, I think, but we didn't manage to get round to it. So um, we had the words requested today, glorious things of the are spoken to the other tune, actually. Um, but I thought, do you know what? We'll just play it to Austria, and it works rather well. So, hello. I do hope you're all well. Um, I do hope that you've seen my schedule that I've put online for May. Really excited about what's coming up in May. Lots of exciting music indeed. Recitals, um, world premieres of new organs, all of that sort of good stuff. So have, if you haven't checked it out yet, go onto the, um, onto the main channel over on YouTube. Beauty and Sound channel, and have a look on the community tab. It's on there, a, a schedule for the entire month. Now, let's go into the next hymn. It's going to be The God of Abraham Prays. Keith, you've requested this, and I'm very happy to play it. It must be your favourite hymn, because you've requested it before. Because I'm, 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 I, I always comment on how many verses there are. There are ten verses, and we're just not going to have all ten verses, because we'll be here until tomorrow night. Uh, so we'll have, I'm going to play you one, two, three, I think I'll play you four, three or four verses, all right? Um, if, if we get to four verses, then you're extremely lucky. So the God of Abraham prays, who reigns enthroned above, ancient of everlasting days, the, and God of love. Um, coincidentally, I've got some glasses here, and they're called Hugo. Well, actually, they're Hugo Boss glasses. Completely unintentional. I didn't name um, our first child after my glasses. So, the God of Abraham prays for Keith Nightingale.
It's a really strong and powerful tune, that one, isn't it? One of, it is actually one of my favourite hymns. Um, I think, I don't know the words particularly well, but I love the um, um, sort of the prowess that the tune itself has. I think it really lifts the, um, the hymn. Keith, good choice. Good choice. And it's always good to have you and Lorna and uh, your family across the pond. Roger, hello. Um, and yes, yeah, so very good to have such good friends in the community with me today. So the next hymn, I'm just basically going to zip down this list here of hymns so that you can't quite see it on the camera in, in a random order. Then we'll, we'll get through uh, as many hymns as we can. Next one is going to be Hark What A Sound and Too Divine For Hearing Stirs On The Earth and Trembles In The Air. This is a request for Julian. Uh, most, I think most of these requests today have actually come in from patrons. So um, if, you, if you want to get your requests prioritised, as the holding screen said at the beginning, um, it helps if you become a patron because we have a lot of requests and patron requests are, of course, prioritised. Okay, so um, here we go. So four verses of this wonderful um, hymn with the tune is by Richard Terry. It's called Highwood. Um, and the words are by Frederick William Henry Myers. Good name that, isn't it? Another wonderful tune. It's one of the uh, better modern hymns. Actually, that was that tune was written fairly uh, recently. 
Uh, when I say recently, I do mean in the last century. Uh, more recently than perhaps the next hymn here, which is going to be the King of Love. My shepherd is whose goodness faileth never. I nothing lack, I nothing, I nothing lack if I am his and he is mine forever. The tune I will play is Dominus Regit made by um, John Dykes, um, 1823 to 1876, and that was certainly before uh, Richard Terry wrote the tune Highgate. Just want to give the patrons, I think most of you are probably patrons by now, but I want to give you a little bit of a nudge. Uh, during the week, I asked you for feedback um, on uh, recent content on the channel over Christmas and over Easter, and also about upcoming content. I've had about 80 or so replies, and I've got 307 patrons at the minute, so the response rate to that request for feedback is um, pretty poor at the minute, guys. So come on, let's try. If you've got a minute or two, it doesn't take long to fill in. It uh, doesn't need to be too detailed either. Just uh, click through the feedback form and submit it. If you get zero out of zero, then you've got full marks, basically. Um, there's a lot of uh, very, very useful replies. So thank you all very much indeed. I'm very, very interested in your replies around um, the future of virtual church, actually. Um, and it's given me a lot of uh, food for thought and a lot of um, positivity, I think. I think that's that it's true to say that I'm feel very optimistic and very reassured and very positive about your uh, responses in the feedback form. If you've got no idea what I'm talking about, if you're not a patron, then you have to become a patron to send me some feedback. Um, and if you, if you are a patron and you've no idea what I'm talking about, then go and have a look at some recent posts. So the King of Love, My Shepherd is, is obviously a paraphrase on Psalm you know which psalm it is, don't you? I don't need to tell you. And it's a request from Tristan.
you may have noticed that I'm actually showcasing the um, the Orbois, the, the oboe on the swell. It's been requested by Eddie specifically uh, to to be showcased tonight, and I will play uh, Eddie. I will play something to solo it out for you. Don't worry, I will play. I don't know what yet. I've got a, just a selection of stuff hanging around the organ bench here, so I'll choose something. Go with how go with the flow. I think. Um, thank you very much, guys, for these requests. I've just made, got a bit, a bit of a, you know, ver various things come to me as I'm playing, and I think I must say that next time I, I stop playing, and um, nine times out of ten I often forget when I'm talking to you, I often forget what it was I was supposed to say. But there was something I wanted to say to you. I, I put a post on Facebook in the Beauty and Sound Organist Association, quick plug, if, you haven't, if you're not a member of that, go and join it. Um, just saying, you know, how wonderful the, the, the past year has been it was in relation to last night's recital, which I did um, a year ago, but I've re-uploaded it. And I said that you know I, I didn't even have a Patreon account this time last year. Um, didn't have the Beauty and Sound Organs Association. And I said that we were actually 10,000 subscribers uh, less. Uh, or was it fewer? <laughs> uh, but actually, that, there's a correction. Uh, we, are tw we, we are 20,000 subscribers more than we were last year. So what a wonderful journey that we've had in the past 12 months. And the most wonderful thing about it, apart from the addition of Baby Hugo, uh, is you, is the, is, is the community. I couldn't, this time last year, have expected to be part of such a wonderful uh, community. And it, it really is terrific. The best thing about this channel is the community. Easily, easily. The next hymn is in, in the most wonderful key of D-flat major. It's Jerusalem the Golden, um, with milk and honey blessed. Beneath thy contemplation, sink heart and voice oppressed. Um, I think uh, this, this hymn might be relevant to Hugo, because I think he would like some milk and honey right now. I think that's probably where he's gone. Uh, so, Daniel, this one is for you. Thank you for requesting this. Four verses of this wonderful uh, hymn. Definitely in D-flat, and you'll, you'll, if you're singing along, you'll enjoy the top F on the penultimate musical line, won't you?
it's the sort of occasion where I do wish that I could have heard you all singing along in that, uh, to that hymn and now we're all going right up to the top F. There was a hymn book um, in the, well it was the organist's hymn book when I was uh, working at Winchester as uh, one of the organists and someone had written in because uh, it's in D flats and some people um, might prefer to play in an easier key in D flat um, and it said in the hymn book in Winchester never in D exclamation <laughs> mark um, and I think well, why would you have it in D the only reason I can think of having it in D is actually it's just a bit easier to play for the organist but I think if you're a cathedral organist playing in D flat shouldn't cause you many problems should it I don't know but anyway in D major it's extremely high there were some hymn books uh, the F sharp these are extremely high and there were some hymn books where the it's in C major but I think in C major it's a little bit low a very gr uh, sort of uh, gravelly and growly you know for this congregation it's one of those hymns where the, 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 the range is just so wide, isn't it? You have very low notes and very high notes. Wonderful. The next hymn is actually relatively straightforward in terms of, well, the way to play it and, of course, um, range. It's Morning Has Broken, and it's only three verses, and it's a request by Katie, who is down in South Africa. So, Katie, I'm absolutely delighted to play this hymn for you. Um, unfortunately, there are only three verses, so what I might do is I might faff around a little bit, so that's a technical term, faff around, um, and then just bring out the, the melody. I'm just trying to get my chat working. I can't seem to get my chat working. I, d I don't want to be missing out on anything too major. I did see a donation in the chat earlier. I don't know who it was from, I didn't see, but um, thank you very much to wh whoever it was. It's very, very generous indeed. So morning is broken for Katie with a bit of, um, with, with a bit of faff.
There you go, Katie. So that's the technical uh, term for the musical faff. In other circles, you might call it musical wallpaper. Um, it, it, wallpaper is what you normally do in, it's basically an even song, a choral even song term where the organist will improvise on the way in gently, you know, an unobtrusive wallpaper, not a, not a, a massively patterned one like, a, perhaps like this but a nice plain wallpaper, a little bit like lined paper or something, I don't know. But it's unobtrusive and it's called wallpaper. Um, so there we go, Katie, I hope that was okay for you. I'm actually gonna fire up the iPad now. Bear with me a sec, because there's a, um, do you remember a few months ago we did the Call for Composers recital, one of, the, one of my favorite uh, recitals that I've done actually it was one of the most engaging concerts that I've, we've, I've been involved with. It was terrific. There's a piece of music here written by Steve Richer. Uh, he wrote it especially, um, I think, I think he wrote it especially for the concert. Um, and it's on the hymn tune Michael um, by Herbert Howells. I'm going to use Jerry Hall's iPad stand. So I've complained before about the power button being uh, being in such a location that when I put it down on the music desk, it turns itself off, which is extremely irritating. This resolves the issue because it's got a groove down the middle of it. And you plonk the iPad on it like that. And you can't quite see it on this camera, but you'll see it in a sec. The uh, power button is just hanging in midair. It's nowhere near the, the music desk itself. So there's no danger of it turning itself off. So that's such a wonderful, simple invention. What I will do is I'll play this uh, arrangement by Steve Richard. It's very beautiful, by the way, if you don't know it. Um, and then I'll go straight into the uh, the, act, the the hymn tune proper, uh, which in any H I should know is number uh, three. How could I forget? It's three, three, three. The Great Trinity, three, three, three. There we go. I'll go, I'll go straight from this very delicate and very quiet um, meditation on Michael, the hymn tune, and then I'll go into the proper hymn, and then actually, if Caroline isn't too busy, um, might, might, if you're lucky, go into the uh, final verse reharmonization by Howells himself. If Caroline is too busy, no worry, because we have this to hand. I don't know whether Noel's done uh, one on Michael. Let's really have a look. Certainly haven't played it if he has. And I, I, I hope he has done one. Oh, oh how, how outrageous. Well, let's see what it's like. Let's see, let's, let's actually do Noel Rawson's last verse on Michael. Um, so three versions here, guys. Here we go. Oh, who is it for? Who is it for? This is for uh, Paul, of course. Paul, are you in? I hope you're in. If you are, hello, um, this is all for you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
there we go. So quite a few arrangements there um, of howls. Um, Steve, I don't know whether Steve is in the chat or not, but anyone who, uh, any keen musicians, any keen eyed, keen, keen ears would notice that I, that I just played a wrong chord in Steve's arrangement. So I'm truly sorry for playing the wrong chord uh, on the, the long pause bar. I'll play it again one day and I'll make sure I get that, that bar right. <laughs> I haven't played it uh, for many months, so uh, it's just one of those things which happens in live performance. How do I turn this iPad off? I want to save some battery in case I need to use this again. There it is. So great. Thank you very much, Paul, for requesting um, all of that howls. It's terrific. You know, a man after my own heart. Herbert Norman Howells. 1892 to 1983. Right, so where are we up to next? Let's have a look. Oh, this we need to head over to America for the um, American hymn book. And holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. Um, all on earth thy scepter claim, all in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. We'll have four verses of this. Uh, there are actually seven verses printed in this hymn book. I hope you don't mind, uh, Martin. Um, I hope you don't mind at all. Um, I hope I'm playing the right tune here. Um, Caroline's written your name and then written in brackets Austria. I don't, are you in Austria or did you want the tune Austria? <laughs> um, Hopefully that you wanted the ch this, this tune, the normal tune here. So if it's wrong, let me know. Just once to remember, because I know I'll forget, I will, I will say it now. Apologies for the sort of interruption. Um, it just reminded me. Next Saturday, next Saturday, um, you know, some of you may have noticed that uh, or heard about the new organ that I'm getting in November. This new organ will not pay for itself. It's that simple. I need to work for the organ. So next Saturday, um, I'm going to play every one of these 400 last verse reharmonizations in another organ marathon. What I will do is start at number one, obviously, but then what I will do is have the original harmony from uh, that hymn book or another hymn book go into Noel's last verse. And I'll do that until I get to the very, very end. Um, so there's a lot, a lot of these I've never played before or even seen. So it could be anything could happen. We'll start at a, what, what time does the schedule stay? I think it uh, say I think it says we'll start at ten o'clock UK time next Saturday morning, and we'll basically crack on until we get to the end. It shouldn't be as uh, shouldn't be another sixteen hour marathon. We can't do that because I've got Hugo. Um, but I'll zoom through them as quickly as I can. Um, and it'll be a lot of fun, so please do join me next Saturday for another organ marathon of this hymn book, or this volume of um, whatever they are, reharmonizations. Holy God, we praise thy name. Here we go.
apparently, I'm, this is where, I'm, where I sort of lose control of what I'm, what I'm allowed to do and what I'm allowed to say. I've now been told I've got to play a hymn which has been requested. Um, it was requested last year, apparently, and it's for Ship's Bells. It's number 370 in this uh, uh, Evangelical Lutheran worship. Jesus Christ lay in death's strong bands. Ooh. Let's have a look at these words, shall we? Because I'm not sure they, they sound familiar to me. The text is actually a, a, it's a, it's, um, Martin Luther, so they should be rather good. So, uh, Jesus lay in death's strong bands for our offences given. But now at God's right hand he stands and brings us life from heaven. Therefore, let us uh, joyful be and sing to God right thankfully loud songs of hallelujah hallelujah okay so if you don't uh, um so the, i think the tune is um uh what's it called christ like in uh Toda's Banden. yes that a wonderful uh, uh lutheran choral which bark harmonized a number of times so i'm really sorry not to have played this sooner chips bells so here we go i'll play it i'll play all five verses to make up for the fact that you've been waiting for so long
question is, of course, on everyone's tongues, ship spells was, was it worth the wait? Um, yeah, so, uh, yes, I do, I do appreciate my timekeeping is often left to be desired. Um, the less said about that, the better, I think. Um, but I know you don't subscribe to Beauty and Sound for um, your host's timekeeping, do you? It's not an issue, <laughs> right? So let's. What are we? Where are we up to next? Um, uh, Psalm twenty-three. Okay, an NEH four hundred. I think we just had that one. Uh, four hundred and fifty-eight. I think we might have just had this one actually. Psalm twenty-three is, of course, the the, the King of Love, my Shepherd. Is maybe it's a different translation. Four five eight. Hank, Hank, are you going to have this one? Four five eight. Psalm twenty-three. Two. Oh yes, it's a different version. Okay, so it's the tune actually. Well done, Hank. This is a um, considering actually you live over in the Netherlands, you know his hymn book better than I do. Um, it's the tune is called Sorry, and it's, it's another paraphrase of Psalm twenty three, one of the greatest psalms, of course. Um, and this one is by Joseph Addison. It's a fairly fairly uncommon tune. The tune is called Henry. No, it's not at all. The tune is called Sorry, but it's by. Henry Carey um, um, from around 1687 to 1743. Okay, well, let's see how we get on with this one. So, um, we'll have, uh, let's have, um, let's have, because uh, we're getting towards the um, second half of the list now, so we'll have all four verses. So, Tune is called Surrey, as I've said about 500 times already, and it's a paraphrase on Psalm 23, as I've also said loads of times. Um, but it's for Hank. By the way, if you're watching today and you're enjoying the chaos, you're enjoying the hymns, you're enjoying the, the waffle, um, please do consider becoming a Patreon. Um, details are on the screen right now. We've got 307, so we must be doing something right to have so many people. It's such a wonderful place to be if you're not part of it. Um, it, it it's a, basically, it's a way to get the full value from the channel. If you can't, for whatever reason, absolutely fine, but please do consider leaving a donation. Um, so we can continue doing these virtual churches, organ recitals, and other types of video on the channel. And I'll just talk about that very briefly, actually, after this hymn. If I don't, can you can you remind me? I'll forget probably. Um, to very briefly talk about upcoming um, content in the future. So here we go, Hank.
So just very, very briefly um, about upcoming content. One of the questions I asked you guys about um, uh, in the feedback was about the future of virtual church and we, uh, what would you feel about, and actually this is uh, open to anyone now who is watching and perhaps isn't a patron and this, this is a sort of a new question or new thing to consider. What would you feel about um, the prospect of virtual church which you're watching right now, um, ceasing to be every week. And the response I got from that question uh, was actually rather um, overwhelmingly supportive. So thank you very much indeed for your, um, your response. Yes, is what you said. It would be a shame to lose virtual church on a weekly basis. However, we understand that it's, it's essentially unfeasible to continue with the amount of work it takes with Hugo next door wanting to be fed all the time and Caroline can't monitor the live chat and uh, help me out as well as she used to be able to do. However, I've taken that on board and yes, I, I appreciate uh, you love virtual church and I love doing it as well. But I think we need to continue doing it to have that weekly rhythm, the weekly routine. A lot of you um, look forward to to VC on a Sunday evening, and I look forward to playing it and being involved. It's, it is, it's very special, isn't it? Um, I think what we, what we will do is have, and I think this is the compromise, and I suppose this is a, um, because you're watching it today, you hear this from the horse's mouth first. Um, what I propose to do, um, and feel free again to give feedback in whatever um, forum you like, whether Facebook or over on Patreon or email, or in the live chat now, um, have fewer live ones. So we are absolutely live now. You know, we can probably look at my watch and see the time. It is absolutely live. Uh, have fewer live ones, um, but actually more recorded ones. So for example, in two weeks time, I think it's two weeks time, uh, I'm doing a pre-recorded uh, top 10 hymns of my top 10s. I've never done a personal top 10 hymns before. Uh, I've always, the last top 20 hymns we did was um, based scientifically on um, the hymns that, that get requested. Uh, so that one was done by you, essentially. But I'm going to do my own now. These are my top 10 hymns. I'm going to pre-record it, and Caroline has offered, if baby Hugo behaves himself and allows Caroline to step away from him, she's offered to, to sing some of them as well. So it'll have uh, my top 10 hymns played by me, uh, counting down from 10 all the way to number 1, sung by Caroline, uh, but as a pre-record, and that you'll have the live chat, and you'll basically be able to talk, and actually I'll be able to talk uh, with you. How does that sound? So having uh, sort of recorded VCs, um, 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 in, in addition to live ones, I think that's a, that would be a nice combination, actually. So let me know what you think about that. I think that might be a way around it. And also, I was really, really overwhelmed by the support and positivity and positive feedback from the um, what was what was called the organ complins. Obviously, a complin is a, if you're not familiar with the term complin, um, it's essentially a service um, which it finishes the day, basically. You know, it's a, it's a nightly service. It's a, it's a, a nightly prayerful, quiet service. And um, it's, there's lots of... Um, text, the psalms, um, responses, um, nunc dimittis, which we had each night, and normally the choir would sing it or a cantor would uh, chant it, but obviously we, didn't, we don't have that here, so I transformed it into an organ compline with Caroline singing the psalms. That worked really well, and I was very grateful for your feedback. We'll do more things like that, actually, during the week, perhaps on a Wednesday evening. I know there's an, organ, an organist online who does recitals on a Thursday, so perhaps we can do something on a Wednesday on a once or twice per month basis to see how that goes, see how you guys respond to it. I know it's tricky because during the week um, most of us will go to work and if I'm doing a, a compline or whatever we call it in the evening at 9 o'clock UK time, which would work for people in the, here in the UK um, and in Europe because it's an, a, basically an hour's difference, but you guys over in America or further, further afield if I'm doing a compliment at nine o'clock at night, which is evening for us, it might be middle of the afternoon for you guys. So it's not really uh, a compliment, is it? So a little bit of thought to do around that. So just 
a little bit of a, an insight into what I'm thinking and something that um, I'm sort of working out um, moving forwards. But like I say, uh, like I said earlier on, if you haven't already, please do have a look at the May schedule. It's online now, so you can see exactly what I'm doing week by week. I'm very, very excited about what's coming up in May, particularly, and I'm actually finally able to tell you, um, I've known about this for quite a while, Piotr Grobowski and I have been working together on the release of Nancy for a while, and yes, we, 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 I am going to release it for him. I'm going to premiere the, the, um, the first online performance of this new Kavai Karl organ which uh, potentially could topple um, the crowning glory that Con has over the French organ sort of um, market. So let's see if it can. I'm very excited about that. That's towards the end of the month. Caroline is going to sing the Veni Creator uh, plain song in between the Drufle uh, choral variations, which I, I know you like because that was on the channel before and it went down extremely well. So I thought no better piece, no better French piece to show off a new organ than those choral variations and Caroline's going to get involved as well. Really, really, really excited about that. Okay, let's crack on. A few more hymns to go and a few more organ pieces as well. So this one is called Monk's Gate. It's He Who Would Valiant Be Against All Disaster. It's a request from Richard. Hello. Such a terrific uh, tune and words as well. It's um, the unofficial uh, school anthem of um, the Winchester Cathedral uh, Cathedral School, Pilgrim's School it's called. And obviously the last line in each verse is to be a pilgrim, so it fits extremely well. Right, where's my blue hymn book gone? It's all the way at the bottom of the pile. That's just typical, isn't it? Just typical. There we go. Oh, I need to, I can tell you what it is. Actually, we've had that one already, haven't we? But we'll have it again, because we have, we had a different tune. It's um, Abbot's Lay, so 435 in here. Um, Abbot's Lay, such a wonderful tune. And then we'll have the organ voluntary. 
So if you, like I say, and I'm sorry to, to say this to people who already are subscribed and you know help out, but if you do enjoy these virtual churches, if you do enjoy the content here on Beauty and Sound, if you do enjoy what I'm doing, uh, please do consider supporting the channel um, to help it grow and uh, uh, at least to maintain it. Um, we have a very, very friendly and supportive group of patrons, most of whom are in the channel, uh, in the chat right now. Hi everyone. Um, but if you're not, and you're just on the edge, on the fence, thinking, should I, shouldn't I, please do consider it. Um, it does help an awful amount. Okay, let's have this uh, hymn, uh, Abbots Lee. Um, there's actually f quite a few different words that you can sing to this on there. But actually, I have the words here as glorious things of the are spoken. We'll have three verses um, to this wonderful tune by Cyril Taylor. Um, and let's have, let's fire up um, the Noel Rawson uh, book as well. I think it, I think this one's quite a good one. They're all good. They're all good, but some of them are especially good. Okay, here we go. So three verses of Abbots Lee. If you like all that sort of naughtiness, uh, those outrageous last verse, 
um, harmonies and extravaganzas, then you will be in for a real treat next Saturday when I play the entire lot of this. Please do pop along for a bit of fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think it'll be very loud and I think you ought to bring your earplugs with you. It won't all be loud. So those people who don't like all loud music, um, don't worry, there will be some rest bite. I'm gonna play this wonderful piece by um, Alexandre Gilmore, the um, march on a theme by Handel, lift up your heads from the Messiah, and as the voluntary. So I hope that's okay. Before I play that, I'm going to play one more hymn by John Goz. It's Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven, to his feet thy tribute bring. It's a request from Jerry. Are you in Ireland yet, Jerry? Are you, or are you still the other side of the pond? Okay, so here we go. This is actually will be the final verse. It's been very good to have you with me today. Thank you all very much for everything you do. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, please do get your requests in for next week. Look out for the, um, the last verse extravaganza last Saturday. So praise my soul, the King of Heaven.
piece which I played for my uh, grade eight, I think it was, um, just a couple of years ago. You know, I've only just recently done my grade eight because I'm that sort of age, you know. Um, yes, uh, anyway, so that was um, a, a Alexandra Gilmont's a March on a Theme by Handel in F um, from the, of course, the wonderful um, uh, choral uh, melody from uh, uh, Messiah. <laughs> Um, there's actually a has a bit of a, a, a glimpse into something that I'm playing later in the month. It's a new piece to me. It will be a new piece to me. It's um, Guillemont's first organ symphony. I don't know whether you know that or not, but it's terrific. It's three movements, um, and I'm playing it on the the new Cavaicol organ in in Nancy. Um, <laughs> um, so uh, look out for that. Uh, sorry, the reason I'm laughing is because I was told that it's definitely not pronounced Nancy. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, yeah, I have to get used to saying it in the, um, in, <laughs> in the sort of the, the French southern way, Nancy. I'm really looking forward to playing it, actually. Uh, so it, I need to learn it. I'm playing it in, um, alongside the third trio sonata by Bach, which I am still uh, haven't yet learned. So we've got quite a lot to learn, haven't I? Um, but it's going to be worth it. Thank you very much to those people who, who, who have donated in the uh, live chat. Jerry and Jerry, I just saw the, the, those donations on the screen flash up from you guys. Um, um, and Ian as well, thank you very much. Ian, thank you so much for uh, putting together the, the, you know, the, the stuff you did for He Goes Birthday. That's really, really, really generous indeed. And uh, you saw the sling, it, by the way, that I was wearing uh, for Trevor's lullaby, um, the sling, um, which was, was wonderful. It's a wonderful invention. It was paid for by your um, gathering of uh, of uh, donations towards uh, towards Hugo. So that has gone towards the sling, and it will go towards other Hugo essential items as well in the near future. Okay, so I'll, I'll draw uh, virtual cl virtual church to a close here today. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for joining me. Um, thank you all very much for your support, and thank you just for everything you ever do. It's really wonderful. Um, and thank you for your feedback over on Patreon. If you haven't done the feedback form yet, it doesn't take long to do. Uh, please just fill it out and we can then take the channel into a direction um, based on what you guys uh, um, would prefer. So it's, it's in your interest to do it. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all um, staying well. I hope you're all having or you've had a lovely weekend. And I hope you have a, a, a joyful week ahead. So until next time, um, we will all say cheerio. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Take care and God bless. <laughs>